we just have to get that anti-venom into her and she's just hemorrhaging. On this week's Bondi Vet Top 5. When you are not sure what the outcome will be, like that's the heartbreaking thing I think is that this stage it can go either way. He's not a King Brown is he? You got it. The biggest of the big and the meanest of the main. And he's bitten himself. Within a matter of minutes a dog can die. In the number five spot we have. Is this the snake bite? Yes. Back in Sydney, five-year-old Lexi has been admitted to the Bondi Referral Hospital sash after being bitten by a snake. All right. The biggest concern is that Lexi's probably been bitten by a brown snake. Now, these snakes are absolutely deadly. Most dogs can be dead within an hour if they've had a lethal bite. OK, Bobby. I'm just going to get these tubes into you. They can go downhill very quickly, so we've just got to move fast. Lexi's owner has brought in the snake that attacked the little schnauzer. This is the culprit that's bitten Lexi. This is a brown snake. They're really deadly. You can see that she's had a go at the snake. There's bite marks in it all over its body. She's had a good chew. Hey, Lexi. She is bleeding everywhere. One of the things that brown snakes do is that they stop their blood from clotting, so she's just hemorrhaging. We just have to get that anti-venom into her. I don't want to waste any more time. While the anti-venom takes effect, Lisa has some devastating news for Lexi's owner, Tennille. The complications that can happen with a brown snake yeah. bite um, are paralysis. It can paralyse their breathing muscles and worst case scenario is that they can die. Yeah. Um, and most of the time it's from having a ventilatory problem, failing to breathe. Yeah, I'm just a bit stressed. She's in good hands though, so. Just to wait and see. Poor Lexi is feeling terrible right now. She's absolutely terrified and now she's actually fighting for her life. You just got to let us treat you. Just go with it. Well, she's had one vial of antivenine, so she should be able to start to improve in terms of walking. That's a girl. Let's just see how you can stand. Lexi, can you stand? Oh, no. no. I think that's distressing her a little bit. Even after receiving the antivenom, Lexi's condition is still critical. Her clotting times are so high, I imagine that she's had a really lethal dose. I think we should probably give her another vial. A second vial of antivenom is needed. Let's hit him hard. I think it's going to be the best thing for her. Don't struggle. OK, you can still wag your tail. <laughs> Just got to try and keep her as calm as possible. All right, darling. All I'm hoping is that we've got anti-venom into her in time. These snakes are absolutely deadly. Most dogs can be dead within an hour if they've had a lethal bite. Lexi's still alive, which is amazing in itself, but that could change very, very quickly. We've got to watch her closely. Oh, hello, sweetie pie. Yeah. Lexi's had two vials of anti venine now, and if she still can't clot her blood, she'll need a third vial. Okay, Lex, just a little sting. Well, she's certainly not oozing with blood like she was last time. At Sash, it's been more than 12 hours since miniature schnauzer Lexi was bitten by a deadly brown snake. Have a good sleep, all right? This blood test is going to tell us a lot. It's going to tell us if she's still got circulating venom in her system. If it's normal, we know that we, we're doing the right thing. We know that we're getting there. That's no good. So her clotting time basically hasn't really changed since last time. It means that she's still got circulating venom in her system and Lexi's going to need another vial of antivenin. You're a good girl, you know that. Bye. How are you feeling? Do you want to come out? Come out and give us cuddles? She's actually quite heavy. Oh my goodness, look at you! Look at you! It's taken three vials of anti-venom, but finally, Lexi has recovered from a deadly brown snake bite. You're so much better, I know. Talking, talking low. 
months. Everything's going in the right direction. I'm really, really glad we gave her three vials of anti-benin. This little girl would have died if, if we didn't treat her the way we did. You needed those three vials, didn't you? Yeah. Tanil warned me that she would be a very vocal dog and uh, Lexi hasn't stopped talking the whole time I've got her out. I know, darling. So much better. It's going to take her a few weeks to get totally back on her feet, but this is miraculous. Want to go see Mum? Yes? Want to go home? Do you want to go home? I know, darling. Ready to go and get Lexi? Take Lexi home. This is Lockie, Lexi's big brother. He's a few months older, but they've been together since they were, she was four weeks. So he's been at home for the last few days, moping a little. You looking forward to seeing Lex? Let's go! You ready to go home? For brother and sister, the separation is finally over. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Lexi! Who's that? I like you again. Such a gorgeous reunion between Lexi and Lockie. They absolutely love each other. The little tails were wagging, wagging. Clearly best friends. Should we go home? Yes, yes. What? What? Oh. Tanil was so relieved to have Lexi back so soon. She was surprised she was even walking. I think the poor woman is so nervous now of having snakes come back. She just can't really relax, can't let her guard down because how are you going to prevent them? She's always going to be worrying that another snake is going to come back and Lexi for sure is going to go for it. Do you want that snake back? No, no. <laughs> I don't want to see no. it again. Fair enough. Number four. Meanwhile, at the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, Seven-year-old Zoe has been rushed in, suffering from a snake bite. I know, I know, I know. Definitely killed by something, dog or owner. The Bichon Freeze has been looked after by vet Darren Foster and emergency nurse Jess. Are the owners here with the dog? Yes, he's at reception. I was at work and my wife was at home and she just went outside for some reason and the little snake was curled up and Zoe started foaming from the mouth. Zoe was attacked by a deadly red-bellied black snake. If she doesn't receive anti-venom soon, she'll suffer an agonising death. The anti-serum needs to go straight into the bloodstream via a catheter, but Zoe's resistance is making it almost impossible to save her life. Over at Sash, Zoe, the seven-year-old bitch on freeze, is being treated for a snake bite. Without anti-venom, she'll die. Going to be brave this time? This is Darren and Jess's second attempt to insert a life-saving catheter. So just try and tap the head to take the emphasis off what's going on on the leg. All right. Without the catheter, Zoe won't get anti-venom she desperately yeah. needs. Good puppy. Good girl. She's had a pretty traumatic day. She's been bitten by a snake and then she's been dragged to one veterinarian and then she's been taken to another place and she's been left here and now we're sticking needles in her. And she doesn't have any idea why we're doing it or what we're doing it for. Hey. Over at Sash, Zoe the snake slayer is fighting the catheter. Without it, she can't get the life-saving anti-venom she needs so urgently. This is Darren's third attempt. Mm. We might need to get somebody else to give us a hand because she's going to be silly. Yeah, she's going to pull off. This time, Darren calls for backup. Yeah. Good girl. Good up in Good girl. A bit more relaxed now. Good girl. Good puppy. Now Zoe's anti-venom treatment can finally begin. Attach her life-saving anti-venom. At the moment, we're just about to give her some methadone so that she'll be more comfortable because her muscles are breaking down at the moment and that can be quite painful. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, you didn't feel that one. So that'll make her sleepy, a little bit more relaxed and she'll have a nice, comfortable day. Right, Zoe, it's time for you to go home. Come on, sweetie. Just a day after her showdown with a deadly snake, and Zoe is back to full health. Come and see everyone who's come to see you. Big family reunion. What do you reckon, Mary? Can you see Zoe? Let's see if you can see her. Zoe! Hello! Hello! It's 
a hero's welcome for Zoe the snake slayer, who overcame a red-bellied black snake and a chronic fear of needles. She looks just so good. Um, I can't believe how well she looks, considering what she's just been through. Amazing, just amazing. This week's number three. Where's Darren? Where's Darren? Can I show you his tricks? Tricks? Go on, impress me. While we're quiet. Over at the Bondi Referral Hospital Dave? Sash, it's unusually Dave? slow in the ER. Dave? So vets Darren Dave? and Lisa are amusing themselves boy. comparing the boy. IQs boy. of their pets. Can you drop? Good boy. Good boy. Ready? Do the high five. Good boy. Another high five. Good boy. Well, Stanley's the best dog in the world, so <laughs> he's much better than Nelson. He's much cleverer than Nelson. <laughs> Nelson, you want to share the stick? Give no, it to Nelson. you don't like sticks. But clever Stanley's big stick is about to bring him unstuck. Yeah, Stanley doesn't quite understand dimensions, so <laughs> he really understands that the bigger is better. <laughs> well, bring it. Bring it then. Come on, see how smart you are. Bring it. Oh. Oh. Let's just scratch all the walls. <laughs> Suddenly, the fun and games are over. A two-year-old Jack Russell has arrived with suspicious marks on her neck. I picked her up off her bed and she's really wobbly on her back legs. And then she just peed red blood, like dark red blood. And I thought, no, something's really wrong now. Bobby is rushed to Lisa for examination. A snake bite appears to be the most likely cause, but this is not a straightforward case. People think that snake bites are always obvious, you know, dogs foaming at the mouth, collapsing, but sometimes the signs are a lot more vague and they can take hours, even up to days, before you notice that something's wrong. Just turn up, little puppy. If you live in an area that is known to have snakes, you should never rule out a snake bite if your dog is unwell. Somebody did say that they saw a snake around our area, which I've never seen before. And, yeah, and they described it as a, as a black snake. Tanya is a foster carer for homeless dogs. Little Bobby has been waiting for more than a year for a family. She's had a hard life. It's just not fair that this has happened to her. She's such a lovely girl. When a snake bites a dog, the venom is injected, goes into the dog's bloodstream, and depending on the type of venom it is, it can have neurological effects, it can have effects on the red blood cells, it can have effects on the muscles. Within a matter of minutes, a dog can die. Now, I'm not going to give her the anti-venom until I'm 100% sure, because there is a risk of an allergic reaction. I'm hoping that blood tests will give me the answer. Snake bite is possible. We need to run some blood tests and see. That's good, sweetie pie. Lisa is hoping these blood tests will confirm whether rescue dog Bobby has been bitten by a snake. Ooh. So the preliminary results from Bobby's tests show that the muscle enzyme is extremely elevated. I, it's so elevated that the machine is not actually reading it. Now this is Bobby's urine. It's bright red coloured. Now her laboratory results and the swelling on her neck and red urine like this is undoubtedly a snake bite. The venom is actually causing her red blood cells to break down and it's causing her muscle to break down. So that's what those results show. What we need to do is give her the anti-venom straight away and then keep her on a drip because her urine is that red colour, that can be toxic to her kidneys. So until her urine is clear, I need her to stay on a drip. So we really failure. don't want to wait. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think I can even begin to tell you what's going through my mind right now. Just, you know, one minute she's healthy and happy and the next minute she's sick and in here and, you know, she's also very close to my heart because I love her very much, so. <laughs> oh. Tanya is obviously devastated about the prospect of losing Bobby. Bobby is one of 
her foster dogs that she's really got a special connection to and now Bobby's been bitten by a snake. Her life is in the balance and poor Tanya's left to pick up the pieces. being such a brave girl. Two-year-old snake bite victim Bobby is about to receive the anti-venom that will hopefully save her life. What a brave girl you are. If we don't treat Bobby tonight, she will deteriorate further. The major complication is that A, her red blood cells can break down and she can become anemic, and B, is that the product of the muscle breakdown is toxic to her kidneys and she can go into kidney failure. So it is essential that we treat her right away. Our biggest concern now is if Bobby reacts to the antivenom, there is a a chance that that's going to happen. But what we need to do is monitor her very closely throughout the antivenom just to make sure that she doesn't react. You mustn't fight the snakes. You can't fight those snakes because they bite you first. You're a good girl, you have a good sleep now. Mm -hmm. Round one goes to the snake. Bobby's now fighting for her life and she needs to win the battle from now on. Keep you out in your little bed. Four days after receiving the anti-venom, snake bite victim Bobby is making a remarkable recovery. How are you feeling today, sweetie pie? It's just a gradual process with these snake bites. I mean, on the first day, you treat them with everything you've got and you just hope they survive. And then after that, it's just a matter of waiting and, and waiting for their bodies to heal on their own with our support. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks a lot better. It's a bit red. All Bobby's blood tests have come back clear now. Her urine is also clear, so she's on the road to recovery. She just needs to have strict rest for the next couple of weeks while her muscles heal, and then she'll be right as rain. Where is she? There's so much going Look on. Look who's there. Bobby, baby. Come on, my little girl. It's okay, sweetie pie. Bet you didn't expect to get her back this no. soon. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I can't say enough about the care you've given her. Well, I do tend to hang on to some of them. <laughs> They're my children, you see. I suppose um, I treat dogs the way other people think of their kids, or better. You know, I mean, um, they can have anything. You know, they get they get the best of everything. Bye-bye, little chicken. No more snakes, OK? No more snakes. No more snakes. Same promise, Auntie Lisa. And you're going to find a new home and not fight any more snakes, OK? Bye. See you later. Tanya is the best medicine for Bobby, and I think in the end it might be better off for everyone if Tanya just keeps her. Hey, look at that, sunshine. Good girl. Yeah. Number two. Over the years I've seen plenty of animals that have been unlucky enough to be bitten by snakes, but I've never seen a snake bite victim that's been the snake itself. So right now I'm on my way to the Australian Reptile Park to see if I can help it. Reptile Park General Manager Tim Faulkner and his feisty patient are waiting for Chris in the Venom Room. You know this is my favourite room of all, don't you? Hello, mate. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. You know Billy, don't you? Hey, Billy, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, mate. Now, where is this snake and what is he thinking? Well, we don't know what he was thinking at the time. What species do you think he is? He's not a King Brown, is he? You got it. The biggest of the big and the meanest of the mean. And he's bitten himself. Really? Yeah, in a food rage. Just being fed. Went to grab the rat, missed it, turned, yeah. boom! Latched onto himself and chewed and chewed. Wow. Yeah, his name, Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank. The names the guys give the animals here often have a meaning behind them. And when they call this snake, Hank the Tank, you know that he's gonna be a big boy. Here he is. It's an honest three metre King Brown. I think it's important here to have a clear delineation of roles. I mean, you've called me in as the vet, not as the snake handler. Yeah. So, it's time we pull back and... You're in, sir. Someone else to step up. <laughs> Working with anyone in this room, it's deadly. These are the world's most venomous snakes. One slip can be fatal. 
So we've actually got to get back now. Back, back here, back here. Right back. Kingy's notorious for just throwing sideways. Yeah. Good feeling. He's a big boy, isn't he? Through that door, mate. Yeah. Through that door. Hank just keeps on coming. He's a lot bigger than I thought. Whoa. So he's reaching out for you, isn't he? Oh, now he is. Doesn't look happy. No, well, he's, he's not. Game plan is Bill's going to pin. Yep. We'll go one, two on the body. Yep. Just don't go too close because he'll whip around this way quick as lightning. All right, Chris. Oh. Yep. Okay. And when he gets it, he'll call us on. All right, fellas. Yep. Okay, on, mate, on that tail. That's it. Just wait for him. Got him? Yep. Okay, well done, mate. Well done, Billy. Holding on to the back of the head there, it's it's intense, like they're so strong, he's constantly fighting and I, you know, I've got to try and fight resistance there and, and just keep that firm grip. Wow. Have you seen that before? No. Look at that, I mean, you see where his teeth are going in. Exactly, this will be thing one, thing two. Yeah. This is the first time I've actually seen it up close and it's horrible. It's black and it looks like dirty, just rotten flesh. It's not nice. This is a few weeks old, yeah. so it didn't progress until after a week and, and now we've got this. Is that as bad as it, it's going to get? Well, I'd be a bit worried that unless we can do something today, mm. that tissue death is going to continue. King Brown Venom has two main ingredients. One is a neurotoxin. The whole idea behind that is to try to really paralyse the prey and stop you from breathing. The second part is a cytotoxin. It kills cells. What we're seeing here is the second part in action. All the tissue has died off. That's actually his backbone there. That's his spine? Yeah. So we're really at risk of losing that tail. Yeah. You can see what, what's happened though. The venom's gone in and eaten away the muscle either side of the bone. And that's why we're getting this really hollowing effect either side of his spine here. How's your hand, mate? My hand is cramping big time. Okay. My main worry is that Bill's fingers go to sleep. The snake jerks like he has been and he pops out of his hand. Are you guys right if I start on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, long have you got on that hand? Let's, let's, we've got as long as we need, but let's hurry. Yep. But as Chris begins treatment, Hank is not impressed. Is that right. him twitching? That's him twitching. Okay. Keys just give big body lunges. That's why there's three of us on him. Yeah. Oh, and again. Oh, look at that piece of meat. Yeah. That's what it's eaten away. Yeah. So it's eaten away everything apart from the bones. The whole idea of my treatment today is to prevent this from getting any worse. I'm using a swab that's soaked in an antiseptic to really rub off the dead tissue. If I can do that, then hopefully I'll expose the healthy tissue underneath. Okay, so that's cleaned up. Do you think you've still got enough blood flow now that the end of that tail might be all right? I think so. I mean, you look at the main blood supply down here is, is actually inside that spinal column there, okay. so it, it, it's still intact and this still feels You might have got it normal. just in time. You know, we've got good movement through the tip of the tail. Okay. So thankfully I don't think it's eaten away too much there. All right, I'm just going to put some antiseptic on this. How are your hands? Let's get that syringe here. You need to let go? Just, just hurry up. Hurry up, mate. He's got to let go. It's been a long time. You give me 20 seconds, Bill. Yeah. Got that in you? You just sing out if you need to let him go, mate. To prevent the bugs that are already in Hank's system from taking hold, it's crucial I give him a shot of antibiotics right now. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't like that. Get one little bit. Have to massage this in because it will sting a bit. You right? Oh, Chris, just watch out right. there. We might have to let go. You good, Bill? Yeah. Okay, you right? I'm happy. Well done, mate. Okay. Hope now is we've got rid of that dead tissue and the healthy stuff should actually start to, to grow through. Okay. All right, let's get him away out of his hand. Yep. Before we do, while he's out, it's this week anyway, let's milk him. Yeah. Yep. Can you hold him for a sec, please? We've got 250 venomous snakes in this venom unit. We don't want to get them out more times than we have to. Hank the Tank is out and restrained. We're going to extract his venom while we've got the opportunity. Would you like to do the honours? Yeah, sure. Okay. Take that. Uh, present it to his mouth there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keen to go. whoa. Okay. Yep, watch your fingers, mate. Right in. Boom. Hank launches into the glass. Wow, look at that venom. 
and seemingly is taking out all his frustration over what I've just done onto the glass. Good way to do it. That's 20 mil. Look at that. Nothing wrong with this end. Look at that just dripping out of his fangs there. So do I just let go now? <laughs> Not like any other snake you've seen. He won't let go of that, so we actually have to let him and the vial go in his enclosure and then get it back. So we walk in there with it. Okay. Told you, mate, when they bite on, they don't let go. Hank does not want to let go of the glass. So the way we do it is to get all of Hank into his enclosure, put the glass and Hank's head there, and then on three, let go. Ooh. How's that? Doesn't do anything slowly, does he? Everything's... Have a look at it fast. Everything's aggressive. What about that? Just a lethal cocktail. Mm. Nasty. You know, whatever these guys lack in toxicity, they make up for in sheer volume. Mm. And there's the proof. This is one situation where you hope that you've done the right job the first time. Because you do not want to have to come back for a second appointment. Hank could be waiting. And this week's number one. At Sash, a major bushfire is burning, only a hundred metres from the hospital. Catherine and Barry had to get through roadblocks to bring in their critically ill pet. She's been bitten by a snake, she's collapsed suddenly, she's having difficulty breathing, she might need to be ventilated. 14-month-old Dora has now slipped into a coma. What worries me is that she's actually not waking up and I'm concerned about her brain function. Dora is just clinging to life, but she did kill the snake before collapsing. As Catherine walked around the backyard, it was right in the middle of the yard and it was, it was a black snake that was dead. And huge. Just quite heartbreaking at the moment, but, you know, just trying to stay a bit upbeat and think, you know, she's, if she can kill that snake, she can do anything, I think. The snake venom is attacking Dora's system. So the most important part about treating a snake bite is that you need to get the anti-venom into the animal straight away because you want to try and stop the venom before it binds to the tissues and has any more disastrous effects. I don't know if Dora's going to make it. All we can do is wait for the anti-venom to start doing its job. We have to monitor her very closely and hope that she wakes up because the longer she's in this coma, the less chance she's got. Dora's still in a coma after being bitten by a red-bellied black snake. Lisa's allowing her owners Catherine and Barry to come in and see her, but only for a few moments. She does respond to your touch. At home, Barry and Catherine's five children are waiting for news. A soft toy sent in from their youngest child is placed next to Dora to comfort her. I would like to sit here all night with you. Go get a bed. Next I time. won't sleep. Okay. Okay. So any change you'll obviously Thanks. ring us. Yeah. yeah. I won't be sleeping anyway. Martin. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. You know, you just have that big stone in your heart. It's just horrible when you are not sure what the outcome will be. Like, that's the heartbreaking thing, I think, is that this stage, it can go either way. Outside, firemen are winning the battle against the bushfires. And as Catherine and Barry get ready to leave, there's suddenly an unexpected breakthrough for Dora. Good girl. Look at you. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Dora. Dora. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to go get them. I just can't believe this. I really can't. Oh my god. 
She's <laughs> seriously <laughs> <laughs> serious. She's looking around. <laughs> you won't believe it. Girl. We killed the big snake. We killed the big snake. I've got the shakes. Such a quick recovery. I don't think I've seen one quite like this. You're being demoted to a cage. That is good news. There is no doubt that this has been a miraculous recovery, but Dora is not out of danger yet. When I go, I'm just going to have to walk away. Yeah. Walk away and we're here with her. That's okay. It's a turkey. I'm not looking. The problem with snake bites is that they cause internal bleeding and muscle breakdown, which can lead to kidney failure. So Dora needs to spend a lot more time with us in hospital before we can work out exactly what damage that snake has done to her. If we could choose between winning Lotto and having Dora back, I'd have to turn down the lotto, sorry. <laughs> hey little darling girl, look at you. Oh my It's 12 goodness. hours since Dora arrived at Sash in a coma after being bitten by a snake. You're a very lucky girl. Yeah, you know how lucky you are, I don't think you realise. Despite regaining consciousness, the venom left in Dora's system is still breaking down her muscles. It's not the news owner Catherine wanted to hear. So this has really knocked her system around and she's still a very sick little thing, so... She's, yeah, she's still got a way to go, so I don't want you to get your hopes up, but she has made some really good progress. Oh, who's a good girl? She's still really, really sick. And so it's quite sad to see her obviously in so much pain. I'll give me a system up. I'm just going to pop her in the bed. Just what? Look at her. Look at her. Dora has won on? her battle yeah. against the effects yeah. of a snake bite. Oh. Oh. Let's see you. Oh. And the whole family, including her canine buddy Dixon, have arrived at Sash to collect her. <laughs> never discharged a dog to that many people at one time. <laughs> it was nothing like I've ever seen before, but there was a lot of love. I don't know, it just feels so good to have him here with us. All right, everyone, so strict instructions, Dora yep. has to rest now for two weeks. Yep. So no playing, no snake catching. No Dixon, snake catching. you've got to keep her quiet too. Yes, yeah, too. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good, good girl. girl. Okay, you get better Sorry. now. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. <laughs>